The weather will continue to play a big role during the last few days of the Big E, especially for those who have not yet had a chance to stop by the fairgrounds. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres made a stop at the fair to find out how fairgoers and vendors finally were able to enjoy some sunshine. Well, Nick, despite the dip in attendance this past weekend following that unwanted rain, fairgoers were showing up in droves today eager for one last taste of New England's Great State Fair, and they're hoping for four more days of dry weather. Well, the fair is like the farmer. If, if the farmer has bad weather, he has no crop, and the fair industry is the same thing. So crops are growing today. Even when it rains, people still bring their smiles to the Big E. But on Wednesday, spirits were high and people had smiles from ear to ear as they walked on the fairground free of umbrellas and ponchos after a dreary weekend. The sun and the blue sky, obviously, to a fair manager is, is great. Uh, with big crowds today, people were in early. Uh, so you'd never know that we had as much precipitation as we had. Things are dried up and, and, and we're back to the way we need to be. The second weekend of the Big E is typically the busiest, but the rain and cool temperatures kept attendance down. Eugene Cassidy, president and CEO of the Big E, says they're expecting lots of foot traffic this weekend. People had sort of pent up a desire to be here from the, from the rainy weekend, so uh, it, we got rolling pretty quickly yesterday morning, and, and it's continuing today. We're seeing some people. Yesterday was a little better. We saw some people. I think this weekend could be extremely good, especially Saturday, Sunday. We'll have a big finish here. 820,000 people have attended the Biggie this year this far, so be sure to stop on by before it wraps up for the year. Working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.